Yeah. Yep. And then what? Too old. Is the old total Q? Yeah. So the original circuit would have had. In one yellow. P on the horizontal. Yeah. Yep. Q old vertical. Yep. Yep. And then S is in there. Yeah. Yep. Just gonna move this P down here a minute and put it somewhere else there. Yeah, then we're saying we're going to add some capacitance. Yeah, we don't know how much yet, but we're going to add some capacitance QC down this way. Yeah, yeah, that will have the effect of taking this down the amount that QC is to give us a Q nu. Yeah. Right, uh, okay. And if you can find your you're setting a uh, set in the um uh question that you want to change cos theta, original cos theta power factor is um, 0.75, but for the for the red situation, cross power factor is 0.9. So you can use that new new power factor. The length of the p line doesn't change, so you can use that angle with the cosine of 0.9 and that to find q do this distance here. And then if you take that away from the original Q old, you'll end up with the Q from the capacitor. Yeah. Q C is equal to Q old minus Q nu. Do you see how drawing a sketching a diagram helps with that? Yeah, yeah. All right. Hopefully that's some help and I've recorded that. Yeah. I'll I'll keep that for today and all right. Would Q C be a minus number then? In t in respect to um, the Q, because all the original Q, this one in blue, was due to inductance. Yeah. Yeah. And then capacitive Q, remember, is is negative with with respect to that. You'd get the same answer if you drew the um, original Q downwards and the capacitive Q upwards. That's just a convention that you do it this way round, that's all. Right. Yeah. Uh, all right. So, so with the with the new, because I think I've worked out the new the new Q. So, so what have you got? If like? I, so if I got the new Q minus, so the old Q minus the new Q, would the answer be one three two zero? No. What have you got for Q new? Uh, six four zero zero. No, that's, that's too much. All oh, right, okay. All right, back to the drawing board. Well, those are according to the answer I've got, anyway. Uh, Right, you should have my solutions on the screen now. Yeah. Now, I don't necessarily suggest that they're the only way you could do it, but that's how I did it anyway. So, how are we doing for time? Oh, we're all right for a minute, 30 minutes. Should get through this. So, question one. First of all, for part A, 
I drew that um, power triangle. S is always the line voltage times the line current. Are you given the full load current in the question? So multiply them together and get seven six eight oh. Did everybody get that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then and then use that with the power factor to get the active power five seven six oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So all of you are okay with that? Yeah. Yep. Then to find what Q is, use Pythagoras theorem. You get five eight. Five zero eight zero, yeah. Yep. And that's what we would call Q old, isn't it? Eventually. Then um, the in phase component IP. So we can isolate if we just look for the power. We can use we can have just the in phase current, the current due to the power. And also, so we can use that in the in the in the power formulas, isolating. We're just talking about power. So we rearrange that to IP as P over E, and we get nine point six amps. Everybody get that? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Then we can do the same thing with Q. We can find the current due to the reactive power if we use Q and E rearranged. 8.47 amps. Yeah. Yeah, I did round that one up to 8.5 though, just to keep it the same. No, not there. a problem. Not a problem. You get all your marks for that, right? Yeah. Um, then from the from that, we've got we've then got a, a, a situation where our voltage is a reference phaser. We've got the in phase current and out of phase current. We've got effectively got a current triangle. So we can use that to find this angle because we know that the cosine of is IP over I, IL or IQ. I should have I called it IL for some reason. That all the IQ really I have over here. Yeah, 41.4 degrees. Did you get that? Uh, I, I got the right answer. Yeah. Over, I just done Q over um, so ta, a shift tan Q over P. Rather than IP. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That don't, don't matter which method. Um, then, unless you're asked to do a particular method, and I don't ever do that in this, these exams, you can you can do it whichever way you feel comfortable with. Yeah, all right. Check, all right. Checking that long as good. long as that's clear what you've done, so that I can apportion marks if you've got the final answer wrong because of a slip. But have done everything else right so you need to make it clear what you're doing but other yeah. than that um i don't really mind how you do it all right yep so then we went down this route where i've done this little thing chat you through it anyway but we we're called the the queue we want to move to the queue new queue old was what we originally had so we could say that the Q from the capacitor is equal to the old Q, take away the new Q. Yeah. And I drew that diagram, I drew it a bit better actually on the screen with the iPad, yeah. So to find a new Q, we end up with this this triangle in here. I've effectively drew out because we got Q new, the original 5760 watts, and the new power factor. And then what I did, and I, I admit that's not the only way. But I found out what the angle was in degrees and then switched to the tangent ratio, tangent um, for the angle, rearranged that to find Q nu and got 2784. Yeah. And you'll have got, I'm pretty sure most of you have got something similar to that. Yeah. Yep. Did you get that, Lewis? Lewis. Ah, I've been an idiot. <laughs> What's the matter? I didn't realise I'd muted my um, screens. <laughs> so I've been speaking and no one's replying, but I thought it was just a connection issue. <laughs> yeah. 
You've muted your vo- microphone. Yeah, by accident, I must have pressed the space bar. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I did get that in the end. For Q new, yeah? Yeah, I did get that, yeah. So therefore, if we take that off QL, 5080, five we end up with the Q for the capacitor. Yeah? Yeah. Took me and, a while. Then, and then the last bit, find the new new pa- uh, parent power S and the line current. So I've done, used that, but what I've done is I've used the wrong figure here. I've used 2296 instead of 2784. So that comes out, with, I'll alter these before I um, put them on mine for you, but that should be 6400 VA there or thereabouts. Yeah. And then yep. that, that's obviously going to make a difference to this. So what current did you get, um, Robbie? I got 10.7, I think it was 10.67, but I rounded it up to 10.7. 6,400. Yeah, 10.6 reoccurring, so 10.7 amps. Yeah. All right. So that's the first question, sorted. Yeah. Just stop that share. Well, I'll just have a look, quick look at question two, and then I'll have to go on to a new room anyway. Right, question two. So this is this is um, the spider diagram question. So you've got number of heat and loads, number of inductive loads, a motor, and other motor. Slightly different information given about each of them and two capacitors, all connected to a 750 volt, 60 hertz source. Yeah. So this is like <coughs> drawing that. Um, single line bus thing when the arrows going in and out and um, calculating total powers and so on. So you've got to work out initially, show the reactive power for the 6.7 kilowatt move with 7845 bar and then draw the block diagram. And then determine the total active power. So you just add all the P's together add all the Q together and eventually you can come up with an appa- the total apparent power S. Yeah? And then determine the power factor of the system. Further capacitance is added to improve power factor. So we've done something along those lines already. Draw the power phaser diagram showing the new and old systems and use it to calculate the reactive power needed to provided by the capacitance. So you've already done something like that this evening anyway. All right, so I'll um, stop that now and start a new room up and then we'll do the same thing with that question. Everybody okay? Yep. Good, good.